As a journalist who covered health and women's issues, and as a mother raising four children from exile in Pakistan, Azita Nazimi knows what news Afghan women find important. For 15 years, she reported for stations including Tolo TV, Yak TV, and Radio Begum. But when the Taliban entered Kabul in August of 2021, Nazimi and her female colleagues were told to go home. Nazimi remembers what was lost when the Taliban took over. All our dreams and hopes, the achievements that women made in the past 20 years, and the main achievement of the Republic, having freedom of speech and press. About six weeks after the fall of Kabul, Nazimi joined a group protesting the rules imposed on women. We wanted to raise our voices to gain our freedoms, but on the contrary, no one listened to us. And our voices were silenced. That's why we left Afghanistan. The Taliban takeover had dire consequences on Afghan media says Rebecca Vincent of Reporters Without Borders, an international organization that advocates for press freedom. The numbers uh, of working journalists have decreased drastically for both, uh, both sexes, but disproportionately so for women. As of 2023, 11 of Afghanistan's 34 provinces have no female journalists at all. And of the 2,700 women reporters pre-Taliban, a little over 600 are still working, says Vincent. Women are largely absent now, in not just in the storytelling role, but in the stories themselves. Um, we've seen increasing restrictions by the Taliban on not only who can present the news and in what way, but who they're allowed to interview, who can be present on these broadcasts. The shrinking space for female journalists mirrors that for Afghan women in general. Under Taliban rule, women are denied education and oftentimes employment and are forbidden to travel unless accompanied by a close male relative. Local media in recent weeks reported that pharmacies had been told to stop providing access to contraceptives, a claim the Taliban rejected. For a journalist who used to report on women's health, Nazimi is frustrated. If I could or I were allowed to, I would focus on women's issues, particularly health and women's empowerment, such as in social and economic sectors. Unfortunately, no journalist is allowed to work on such issues. Afghanistan still has media, but Vincent says, the ability of independent journalists to keep working is deteriorating. For Muskasafi in Islamabad and Lisa Bryant in Paris, Shaista Sadat Lame, VOA News.